rather rare specimen it is the lesser spotted Hoover Junior U1104 Dirt Searcher with its dirt finding headlamp, its top fill bag and its brown colour. This one, as you probably already guessed, is missing some of those very important, very rare features. But fear not, I will talk you through what we've got and where we're going to go. But first, we'll have a look at it and see if it's going to run. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this is one of Mr. Rich's incredibly rare vacuum cleaners which just looks trash. Because, quite honestly, it is. It is a made in Britain look. The, the Bulldog sticker is letting the side down, as is the missing top cord hook. Little bit of a problem. But we have our brown handle and I don't know... That's original if it should have a brown one. I think it should probably have a brown one, but it looks okay enough. And yeah, then we can move on to the junior bag, which is in pretty disgusting condition. Let's take the, ah, the top cord hook is not actually fixed in at all. In fact, yes, looking closely, the entire bolt and spring is missing from the thing. So that is why that is no good but yes this is a very replacement bag with holes in it but actually inside does hold a full-on top fill assembly i presume they might be the original bellows but that's definitely replacement i haven't seen that i think that's a conversion piece that'd actually probably be quite cool it just takes the older style bellows and then converts them into the newer style which just clicks in so not too bad not too bad uh, then we can look at the rest of the machine and judging by the cut black cable somebody has been here before i mean it must have been an incredibly long time ago let's recline the handle yeah the actual body it's got a few scuffs but it's not too bad it'll clean up we flip it underneath though, it's been underwater a lot. The brush roll is sea solid and completely worn out. All of this is very, very rusty as well. So yes, this is one of those videos where before we go too much further with this, we need to work out you know, if it has any chance of survival. The other thing is that the motor is completely seized as well. So yeah, I'm not going to do anything about that cable for now. Then we are going to have a peek around this U1104 from January 1986. Let's take these screws out. Oh yes, it springs. Oh yeah, you've got to do the back wheels with this, haven't you? Oh, it's been a while since I've done a flat belted junior. What horrors are we going to find in the little hole? What horrors are we going to find within? Uh, ooh, delightful. So, much green on the terminals. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is impressive stuff. Indeed. Uh, um. I think the first thing we'll do is we'll get rid of this spit of black cable because it's not doing any good at all and I do feel that we're gonna have to take the motor out of this so it may as well come off anyway and I hope I don't actually have to remove these screws because yep they're not going to be crimped at all oh gosh do the disgusting cord clamp again do we have to completely remove you or will you just sort of no I think we do eh. 
There we go. We'll pop that back in for now. As well. Oh my goodness. Right, then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a photograph of where all of these wires connect, which is very important and something that you must do. Oh, we don't want the flash on. There's enough flash here. Take one from a couple of angles, making sure you know the orientation. And even when you start pulling wires, like we're gonna pull the headlight lens out, hold it back up and just take another photograph. And that is basically 80% of how I, you know, get these things done, really. Switch is fine, that's just, the live and then we can withdraw the motor I don't think we need to worry too much about the belt it's long removed oh cause, yeah this thing is seized there's no point in turning it on and it going bang because these motors are fairly easy to service as I'm sure if you've watched my channel for long enough you probably picked up on these are the same as all the other Hoover Junior motors that I have ever shown you Ish. <laughs> ish, ish. So this should be too bad. Oh, back motor out. Motor smooth. And then the top one, luckily, because this is a plastic firewall, these haven't seen. If this was ye old style aluminum one, and it's rusted the screws out. Something terrible. But we can. Oh, ooh, ah. Um, ah, hmm. that tells a story, doesn't it? Brush roll is still completely seized. We'll have a look at that later. Um, okay, get our four motor screws out. Yeah, so it is seized. Uh, oh no, it's not. Ah, it is not seized. Well, not now, but we do definitely need a fan. I don't even think it's a genuine fan. Oh, it is a genuine fan. <gasps> Wow, that is ever so, ever so worn down. So that is why this thing doesn't work and probably also why it's not going to work in this video because there's no point in me taking it apart much. Oh, there it is, isn't there? We want to see inside of it. Okay. Righty, oh, righty ho. We've got our first broken joint look. Oh, no, don't start doing that. Oh, blimey. Right, I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to take the casing off and then I'll come back. Oh, the corrosion is quite bad and I actually ended up pulling out the whole terminal blocks because the wiring just won't give out and I don't want to break too much of it. So, wow, what a pain in the bum. However, we are at ew, this stage now. Ah, now it's pretty rusty. There are the spring clips of utter hate. We will not be removing the carbon brush holders from this motor. But yeah, this is the inside of one of these. And it's pretty, pretty similar to every other Hoover Junior motor really. We have a much better front seal made of you know, rubber that doesn't degrade. And if we can, yes, we can turn these screws. That's handy. Oh no, wait, we can turn one, oh dear. Uh, we can turn one of them. I've even got some spares, so it doesn't fully matter if we... Oh. Might have to drill the head off of this one. Oh, I'll just take a chip out my screwdriver. That's annoying. Let me get that out. It's certainly freeing up though, but yeah, I want to get the fan off. Broke another screw off, the one that holds the back bearing on. But I think we can now start to extract it. The back bearing is rusted into place there. Took the brunt of it for sure.
front bearing spins very nicely indeed i think it's this back one that's completely and utterly destroyed i also forgot that that this is a one piece on these moderner ones so we have to come around to this side push the locking tab back on the carbon brush holder and push down to release it and hope it doesn't snap and then we can take the carbon holder out or oh, oh, we can withdraw the brushes as well original genuine hoover brushes they can certainly be saved oh blimey what a kerfuffle i still haven't managed to get this out it is solid actually it's, it's gonna have to be destroyed to come out i think that's fine i've got I have many spares of these, but ah, that's what we don't want to do. Oh, okay. Soak this in plus gas, I think, before we go any further. So yes, this is the motor for our very rare Hoover Junior Dirt Search. But it needs a back bearing and some screws. But I think it will be okay with just a clean up let me get this tidied away and then we'll carry on with the machine itself because there's still a few things that we can do got it out without knocking any more chips off of the back housing there is our very rusty very knackered going in the bin back bearing and yeah our our fan look at that ah, that's this project on hold until we can get one of those although the rs suppressor lasted until we took it out hasn't blown this is one of the ones that it blows it goes really stinky but the machine still does run it's not you know the exploding scary ones that you used to get right put all this rubbish in the bin right time for the next battle which is going to be the brush roll we'll see what fun lurks in here i haven't put the motor back in there's no point that's just this is just a toy now really Okay, nothing too worrying so far. Oh, there we go. Look. Look, we fixed it. We can give it back to the customer now. Um, I need a better screwdriver for doing this. Ah. Perfect. Oh my word. This is how like concrete for it or something that's going to take maybe it's a good job i'm starting this now because that might need a big old soak indeed before we even think about cleaning it right we have ourselves um, a round belt on our flat belt hoover junior that's a good sign i don't even think it's a genuine belt oh dear that's not good hasn't done too much damage although to be honest wouldn't really matter if it had. Wow, what are the one of the end caps is undoing? Wonder how far we'll get before we have issues. I reckon this is going to be the problem end. So we'll start with this end. Oh, don't even need a screwdriver for this. Right, well that's the end cap out. <gasps> you just pushed out. Excellent. There is our brush roll bearing, surprisingly okay. It may survive. I'm running out of brand new ones. So, oh. Nowadays, they do get a bit reused. Let's put the one remaining grip on this pair of crimps that I have. But it holds the centre rods very nicely-ish. So, there we go. So you can clamp on it and undo. Oh, dear this side here which yeah is the really terrible side and I do have a feeling that some of this bearing will come out but not all of it no there we go look this is what happens when you have a really terrible example right there's you there's you there's now little ball bearings everywhere and now what you've got to do is you've got to get in at an angle to the remains of the outer shell of the bearing and then smack it out and it's very difficult you get little 
ball bearings absolutely everywhere. And you've got to not crack the well, not crack if you can help it this. It might take a few screw drivers, it's better outside as well, but it'll be all right. And eventually, your very rusty outer shell of the brush fold bearing will come out from its rusty, disgusting tomb. And then, hey, who knows? The wobble, what? Yeah, the wobble washer is still intact. That's not seen movement for years and years and years. That won't have. Oh, whatever. You're not going to focus, are you? So, ugh, that's why our brush fold wouldn't turn. It's not horrific. Actually, I mean, they're pretty bad anyway, but it's not too bad. So, oh, wow, it comes apart some more. And I still haven't shown you the best bit yet. I, we, we got a bit sidetracked. Let me get this back together without any bearings so I don't lose it. And we'll move on. Crikey, this thing's light now. So, we know that it has major motor issues, major brush roll issues. Oh, how much worse could it be? Well, hopefully things will get just a little bit better because... Here, look, is the original lens cover. Yes, yeah, kept completely separate from the whole machine for quite a while, I think. I certainly kept it separate whilst I stored it. Because, despite the fact that, and you can see it there, look, the exclusive has long gone, as has the Hoover. You could recreate that fairly decently with, you know, a nice see-through sticker. And it will polish up quite nice. But just the fact that it is brown and intact makes it perfectly reasonable enough we're missing our bottom screw there looking at that but we'll be all right and obviously the bulb holder all sits there so this just sits like that and wow that transforms the thing very well indeed but the big glaring thing is the bag what is going on with the bag well here look is the original bag with its broken top cord hook but otherwise it's here if we unzip it look we can see that we have our top fill tube we have our proper bellows we have a open and rust oh god open and rusty safety pin that has just snapped Ugh, tetanus eh, come on we'll we'll get rid of that <laughs> now the main problem with this bag and it's actually quite lucky that it's not completely and utterly filthy I mean it's dirty but nothing that a good old session with a vacuum cleaner won't fix and that is because these machines have this era of vinyl transfer bag writing and they do not survive being washed if you remember the black hoover senior office cleaner that i did a fair old while ago now it had exactly the same issue so whilst i can do the bottom hardware and the top i think yeah that just screws in there i can't do an awful lot else with any of it and i don't want to ruin that so it's not going to be a washed bag but it is going to be a clean bag and yeah well, We'll stick a nice new cable tie in the bottom of there and generally fit it a bit nicer. But yeah, it sits on roughly like this. If I can ah, push the clip on, it's not to go on perfectly anyway because well, we're completely missing the top cord hook now. But yeah, and it will look surprisingly like that. And 
doesn't that just make the whole thing look a lot more promising? That when it's all done, and you know, this is attached to there without me having to use my hand, and there is a motor in it, and we can turn it on, and the lights will light up. Ah, gives you hope, doesn't it? So there we go, really. Hopefully, in the after video, I will be able to show you this in all of its glory, and we can vacuum with this. It's going to be fantastic because of that brush roll, but it's really hard to find brush rolls for now. Really hard indeed. And yeah, hopefully, we can see it afterwards. So, whew, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and this Hoover Junior exclusive, will see you soon. Bye bye.